I would say the, the most interesting thing, though, is I firmly believe this is day one. This is a time when we know very little about e-commerce and very little about e-merchandising. There's a huge amount to be done. If you look at the kinds of things we'll be working on in the near future, we're going to work on geographical expansion. So we want to make it possible for people to buy a Japanese language book anywhere in the world, for people to buy a German language book anywhere in the world, just as we now do that for American books. Um, we're also working on product expansion. So we want to leverage our customer base, our competencies, and our brand name into products like music and videos. Um, uh, if you search Usenet news groups, you'll find at least once a week somebody will ask the question, who's the Amazon.com of music? And uh, we're desperate to say we are. Um, and so far, we can't say that. Um, so, so, so those are two of the things we're working on. But I think uh, one of the most interesting things is this notion that I spoke about earlier, which is redecorating the store for each and every individual customer. This is the future of, in fact, we've stopped calling it e-commerce and started calling it e-merchandising. Because commerce is the simple find it, buy it, ship it uh, sort of be, uh, action. E-merchandising is much more about customer behavior online. In the physical world, there are all sorts of interesting things that are understood about customer behavior. So there's something called the hard right, for example. You walk into a store, 90% of customers turn right. That's why the cash registers are usually on the left and merchandise on the right. There are a whole bunch of, uh, of those kinds of things. Nobody knows what those things are online. And we view Amazon.com as an experimental laboratory to try and figure out some of those things. At the same time, we can use advanced technology and we are, as I said, starting to do this now, to not only understand our products on a product-by-product -product individual basis, but to understand our customers on a customer-by-customer -customer individualized basis. So that we can, the goal is to enhance the discovery process. The goal is to make it, you know, discovery is an incredibly powerful motivator for people. All of us like to discover things. And when you walk into a bookstore and you serendipitously stumble across something that blows you away and say, wow, I really want to read this book, that's very powerful. Uh, all of us have read half a dozen books in our lives that have made a major impact on us in some way. And I would posit that there are 500 books in the Amazon.com catalog right now that could have that same sort of impact on you if you could only find them. And I believe that we can use advanced technology to dramatically improve the odds that you can find those books. Because we'll not just let readers find books, but we'll let books find readers.